Well, it's been an exciting day um, for our players and our program and uh, our coaches, our support staff, uh, our field crew, everyone that's worked uh, so hard um, to to get to this point and have a chance to continue playing in the NCAA tournament. Uh, there's a lot of happy folks around here, a lot of excited people, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of our team and our players uh, for, you know, having an outstanding regular season. And anytime you or you're one of 16 hosts after going through a very, very difficult SEC schedule uh, and winning 20 plus games in the league and putting yourself in position to host, uh, you have to feel good about that, and I do. I feel very, very good about what our players have accomplished, and um, so it's a it's a happy time uh, for us to continue to be able to play. And today, everybody sits here with a zero and zero record. Everybody has a fair shot at it, and um, you know we're, we're we're excited about being able to play at home in front of our fans. Um, that's an accomplishment in itself as well. And um, generally speaking, we play very well at home, so that even gives me more excitement about about uh, the games coming up this weekend. Obviously, we got a, a very, very challenging regional. Um, I don't know too much about all our opponents yet other than just looking at their stat sheets, but I know I know we're going to have our hands full on Friday with the pitcher they're going to throw out against us, and his numbers are incredible. I don't think anybody has hit him all year long. So, um, obviously, but that's what you get in the, in the NCAA tournament. You're, you're going to have incredible challenges, and we got one uh, right out of the gate. Uh, I'm sure, in, in our first game. But uh, that being said, uh, it's a great day for us, a great day for our program, and uh, we we'll look forward to getting back out on the practice field and try to improve some this week and uh, get ready to have a great weekend here at Founders Park in the NCAA tournament. Questions? Please raise your hand. Brian. Speaking of practice, you talked about that they may be sick of seeing you. Have, been, have you been happy with the way they responded since they've got back during these practices? We, we've done, you know, we've done well. Uh, the practices have been fine. Uh, uh, we've gotten some work in. Our pitchers have thrown. We're going to scrimmage a little bit today. We scrimmaged some uh, on well, a couple of days ago before the rains hit, and uh, we've gotten some good work in. Um, guys are bouncing around in good spirits, and and we, we feel good about the uh, about how how they've how they've worked, how they've gone about their business. Um, you know, I, I they, they didn't leave Hoover, and you know, and sad they didn't they weren't they weren't discouraged they weren't a discouraged group they feel they still believe in themselves I mean we we finished the season okay I think our last seven games were five and two or last 20 were 13 and seven every everything's okay we, we've we've played some pretty good baseball consistently all year long and our players know that and that's why I tried to reinforce that to them so they would have no reason to come into practice with anything other than excitement that's what's in front of them and uh, yeah they, they they worked hard and had great attitudes so I feel good about the work that they've put in we need to put some more in here in the next few days. All right, in the back, Mike. Chad, I know it's two weeks away, but someone's got to ask it. Carolina and Clemson could face off in a super regional. I know it's a long way away, but what could that potentially do for this rivalry? I'm going to give you the question that you don't want. Um, I mean, the answer that you don't want. Uh, if we're fortunate enough uh, to get through this weekend, um, you know, we'll talk about whoever we're matched up with next week, next week. Uh, we got too much of a, a challenge in front of us this weekend um, to even to even put ourselves in position to play in a Super Regional. And if for one moment we think about any opponent or, or any game on down the line, not, a, not, not the game on Friday, if we think further, we'll, we'll get our tails kicked. So I'm not going to let our players uh, – or anybody uh, focus on anything down the road. Let's focus on the task at hand, and uh, and you know there'll be the time to talk about that if it if it indeed happens. John, were you surprised at all at how the national seeds or any of the regional hosts played out, and and also just uh, speaking to the SEC's strength by getting uh, four national seeds? Well, the league has been great. Uh, I wish like crazy. Um, you know, we'd have gotten one more national seed, but we didn't, and and that's okay. I mean, there's been a lot of national seeds going and win the national championship and and go to the College World Series. I think we did it in 2010. So, it's um, we'll, I think all the teams that are the eight national seeds are very very deserving. Had great seasons. Um, they played great baseball down the stretch, and uh, they're certainly deserving. Um, you know, we deserve to be in the conversation, and we were in the conversation. So. Uh, that being said, I'm just tickled to death that we get to continue to play. 
and uh, we get to play at home. And you know, there's uh, there's no guarantees, you know, f other than we get to play on Friday and we get to play Saturday at some point too. But other than that, we got two games and. What happens down the road? There's no guarantees. There's no guarantees we have to travel next weekend. There's no guarantees who we're going to have to play. I mean, there's, it's the NCAA tournament, and everybody's got to play some quality opponents. We have to play one right out of the gate uh, in a pitcher that hadn't been hit since February, it looks like. And uh, so we got enough to worry about. But the national seeds I thought were great. They're terrific. Uh, all of them are very, very deserving. And, um, you know, I have no problem with that. Matt. With a young team and several guys that have never played in the NCAA tournament before, just what do you tell them kind of going into this week about this process? Well, we, we've kind of uh, – we've had some conversations and just about you, the toughest team, the team that handles adversity the right way, the team that has the most fun, and the team that makes the plays and has the quality at bats when the game's on the line. That's the teams that win. There's no magic formula. You, you have to play well. You have to handle adversity the right way. You're going to be in some sticky situations probably with your season on the line. And – are you going to respond the right way? And uh, young guys can respond the right way just like older guys can. And obviously we're going to have some young guys out there. And uh, and I'm looking forward to them getting that experience. And uh, uh, I have no doubt that they'll be good players and they're going to handle it the right way and they're going to execute. They know what's at stake. And uh, they don't come to South Carolina to not be in an NCAA tournament, to not be in this situation. So it's something that they work for for a long period of time as well. Do you know yet about who will pitch? Um, we're going to try to get through the scrimmage today. I mean, I would think we're going to get Clark ready to go Friday. He's going to be healthy and ready and rested. And uh, he's been our Friday night guy all year long. I don't see a reason we're going to change that. Uh, but, we'll, you know, hopefully he's healthy and ready to go. Right now he feels great. So uh, I don't think there's any, any plans out there to change what we've done up to this point. Uh, Feel good about Clark. He's made a few adjustments here this week um, in his in his you know his sessions uh, with Coach Myers, and I think he's excited about getting the ball and pitching this weekend. Mike, Chad, when you look at your home record, especially compared to the away record, you know how much of a of a relief is it to you know finally be back here in Columbia on such a big stage? Well, you just you know when you play here, you coach here, you kind of set you have goals. I mean, one of the goals every year is to host a regional. Um, one of the goals is to win your division. Uh, well, we've got we can check two off, and now we got some other goals and some bigger goals in front of us, and we we'll have to play well to reach some of those. Um, but the fact that we get at least in step one, we get to do it at home. Uh, that's a that's a you know it's a re reward and an accomplishment for a job well done. And uh, these things don't just fall in your lap. You have to earn them. And when you earn them through the rigors of the league that we play in. Uh, I can tell you, I, the calls I've gotten, the texts I've gotten from coaches around the country, they know how hard it is. And um, so we feel good about what we've accomplished up to this point. And we still have a lot of uh, goals in front of us that we'd like to achieve that are attainable because we've put ourselves in this position. And we're anxious to get out there and play and see if we can play well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a good feeling that we get to play at home, you know, these, the first weekend. And it uh, doesn't guarantee you anything. You have to go play well because the opponents we're playing are, going to be, are very, very good. And we're going to have to play well. But uh, at least we get to do it in comfortable settings with a great fan base behind us. Derek? The way you guys finished the year in 2010, struggled down the stretch of the regular season, two and Q and Hoover, does it feel kind of eerily similar? And do you even bring that up to, your, to this team? on the run that they went on? Uh, it's a little bit different. You know, this year for once, you know, our last seven games we finished five and two. We finished with a sweep on the road in the league, and I guess we won the Sunday game against a and We were feeling pretty good about ourselves going to Hoover. Um, I don't know if we were feeling great about ourselves going to Hoover in 2010, having lost, you know, series here with the, you know, with the division and the SEC on the line. So uh, we went to Hoover in a little bit different spirits. So it's a little bit different in 2010, you know, because this year we had won the East. and. Uh, we had played well on the road prior to the tournament. So it's a little bit different. You know, I don't look at it honestly as we've played bad down the stretch. I think we're, like I said, we're 13 and seven our last 20 and five and two our last seven. Um, you know, there's a couple games we'd like to have back, uh, but we lost to some really, really good teams. It wasn't like, you know, 
the Sisters of the Poor beat us. I mean, we lost to some really, really good teams, uh, teams that are ranked in the top five in the country. And uh, and hopefully, you know, through playing those teams, will have prepared us for the difficult situations that are in front of us. And uh, because, you know, the old misses of the world, the Texas A&Ms of the world, uh, if you can't get pre- – they prepare you. For the you know for the teams and for the tournaments in front of you, and I think it's one of the reasons why SEC schools and our 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 members have done so well in the NCAA tournament is because you know going through the schedule that we have to go through prepares you for it, and I think that's one of the reasons why you see a lot of SEC teams in Omaha and have seen a lot of SEC team SEC teams win the national championship because I think the league prepares you for this moment. Got to go out and play well, um, but. I think our guys are, are prepared from both the opponents that we've played, the work they've put in. Um, they're prepared to go forward and, and face the challenges that are in front of us. Colin. You mentioned after the Texas A&M game in Hoover that you might want to, you might change up the lineup a little bit. Have you thought more about that, about the starting nine you might put out there Friday? You know, we, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to watch the scrimmage a little bit today. I, I don't think I'm going to try to reinvent the wheel. Um, you know, our players are our players. And, uh, and they've, you know, through 57 games, they've won their fair share. So I don't know if it would be the smartest thing to do as a coach is just totally revamp your lineup. Um, but, yeah, could I put T.J. Hopkins in there more? You know, probably. And is that an option of mine? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm wrestling with putting him up there in the top of our lineup and letting him go and just letting him play. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not to that point saying I'm definitive, definitely doing it, but, but I think uh, that he needs to be a factor for us. And uh, – and um, I'm going to certainly, you know, try to pick the spots to make sure he's in there and can make a difference for our team. Uh, he, he just uh, – he doesn't have to hit the ball well to cause havoc. Um, he, can, he can impact the game uh, in a lot of different ways other than just, you know, what he does in the batter's box. And um, we might need that energy in our lineup as we go forward. In the back, Joe. Coach, along those same lines when you're talking about lineups, do you have less patience with guys perhaps in the postseason where you know one game could mean you're out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, 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 this is what you, – you coach a lot of games, 57 of them, I guess, to prepare for this moment. And, yeah, there's no uh, – I don't know if patience is the right word. It's uh, You have to have a sense of urgency and, and say, well, there's no we need this guy performing at a high level next week. You, you, there's none of that. You know, and, uh, you know, it's we need the guys performing well today. And uh, so that does factor how you think about your lineups. <laughs> you 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 want to perform well today. You, you're, not, you're not trying to keep people in good spirits and do any psychological, you know, <coughs> tests to, to make sure that they are feeling good about themselves. We're, we're trying to win the game. And each one, each pitch, each inning, each at bat is extremely important. And... Um, you know, the sense of urgency is at an all-time high when it comes to NCAA tournament time. <coughs> Sorry. Somebody? Any other questions for Coach Holbrook? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Appreciate guys. it.